For everyone, it's our effort to highlight good things happening in our community. And this next story details a twist of fates that brought two people together. Photojournalist Jake Weller shares what happened. Happy birthday to you. On his 90th birthday, Ralph Earl Britz of Leewood, Kansas, has a gift he always dreamed of. All these years I've been brought up as an only child, and wouldn't it be wonderful because I always wanted a brother and sister. And he wanted to solve a family mystery that surfaced 15 years ago. I was trying to get a, a passport and get my birth certificate because it had been lost. The birth certificate revealed that his father was actually a stepfather, a revelation that made him wonder about his true lineage. So I said, you know, I, I, was I adopted? Ralph's daughter, Lana, sent his DNA to 23andMe. It absolutely was looking like looking for a needle in a haystack. A break came in the form of a deathbed confession. In 2020, 78-year-old Roberta Best of Raytown, Missouri, was saying goodbye to her ailing mother. The day she passed, she told me that uh, my dad had a child before he married her. Roberta's family went to 23andMe as well, and it didn't take long for the pieces to come together. My grandson, he called me and says, Mimi, I think you have a brother. I think we found your brother. Finally, the two siblings who grew up mere miles away from one another met for the very first time. As he was walking up the sidewalk, I looked and I said, I don't need a DNA, that's my brother. He looks too much <laughs> like my dad. <laughs> so it's just really amazing. It, it, was, it was meant to happen eventually. The brother and sister reuniting is healing old wounds and bringing new life to the two widowers. I've lost my husband and he's lost his wife, Maudie, and uh, we can kind of keep each other company. He comes over and takes me out to lunch and and just we talk constantly ab about things in our past that, where we're getting to know each other. And beginning an adventure together, long overdue in their golden years. Sis and I, we're going to travel and do some things together. She might not know it yet, but we are. <laughs> so what have we learned, kids? It's never too late. No. Well, <laughs> to have family. <laughs> I guess we're just very fortunate that we found each other. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Very. In Leewood, Jake Weller, KSHB 41 News.